Hello everyone, this is Kyle Battis, and you're listening to the official Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle World Book Release Podcast with the best-selling author Tom Venuto. I've been working personally with Tom since 2006 as the manager of the Burn the Fat Inner Circle, which is an online community of thousands of men and women from all over the world, where readers of Tom's books all get together to learn more about fitness and to support each other as they pursue their goals. It's also the home base for the Burn the Fat Challenge Body Transformation Contest. Working with Tom at the Inner Circle and being involved with these fitness challenges for years has been amazing because I've been able to see firsthand just how much the Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle book has not only transformed thousands of bodies, it has transformed thousands of lives. What I've seen with my own eyes is that when you get leaner and stronger and fitter and healthier, which is what a program like Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle does for you. It really can transform your entire life. That's why I'm so excited to see Tom's book going from going into print after 10 years as a self-published ebook, because now the book is available worldwide on bookstore shelves, at Amazon, at Barnes and Nobles, and everywhere else books are sold, in hardcover and even as an audiobook. So in just a minute, I'm going to bring on Tom, and what we're going to do today is answer all the questions about the new edition of the book that we've been getting for the last several months. We're going to answer questions about what's new in the book, what's changed, who is the program for, and why should you get the new hardcover edition of the book if you've read the old ebook. We're going to explain why this is not a diet book and why it's not even a traditional fitness book we're going to very briefly cover the four elements of the entire program. We're even going to handle a tough question or two, the kind of questions we've gotten when someone is skeptical or just not quite sure if their program is right for them. And then, of course, we're going to tell you about special offers for book launch week and tell you where you can get the book because Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle is available all over the world now, including the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, and even South Africa. We're going to keep this short and punchy because we know everyone is busy and we have a good handful of questions to cover. We probably won't go too much over 30 minutes. So with that, let me welcome to the podcast the author of Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, Tom Venuto. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate all you've done for the Burn the Fat community for all these years and I appreciate you hosting this call. Uh, it's my pleasure, man. It's, uh, it's uh, As I said in the intro, it's been an honor to uh, – one, one of my favorite parts of being you know, involved with the Burn the Fat program is, is doing these success story interviews with uh, people that have read the book and have transformed their lives. So I'm real excited about helping you uh, bring this to even more people. So with that, let's get started with a little background and history. Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle was a number one bestseller on the ebook charts, and you're a totally successful self, self-publisher. self So why are you now bringing it to hardcover after all these years? Well, the first and biggest reason is because it's part of my mission, and I've gotten very clear about my mission just in the last year or two leading up to the release of this book. And my mission is to help millions of people get leaner, stronger, fitter, and healthier. And ever since the early days, my mission has always been to help more people. I started out like a lot of other guys in this industry. I went to college, got a degree in exercise science. I got two of the top certifications from the NSCA and the ACSM. And then almost literally the day after graduating, I took a job as a personal trainer in gyms and health clubs. And when I started, I worked with people one-on-one in the gym, just an hour per session. And that's how we did it back then. Uh, there were aerobics classes, but group fitness and boot camps weren't what they are today, and there was no internet back then. So I was helping people one person at a time, just one hour at a time. And it was a great experience. It was enjoyable. It was rewarding. But I realized I could only work with so many people. I probably, uh, over many years, trained hundreds of people one-on-one. And then I got my first internet connection in 1998. And right away, I knew I could reach more people. So by 1999, I had an internet coaching program, and I was working with people all over the world. Then a few years later, in 2003, one of my colleagues showed me how he was publishing his own book online as an ebook. And right away, I knew that that was the next step, how to reach more people. And it looked like a great business, too. So I took the book, and I put it into Adobe Acrobat PDF format. 
I put up a new website. I announced it to my email newsletter, which I had been building since 1999. And I told my friends and colleagues about it. And it was an instant number one bestseller on the ebook charts. And it stayed a bestseller for 10 years. And it took us a whole decade, but we reached eventually 300,000 people in 154 countries with that ebook. So yes, I could have just kept chugging along with my own website, my own ebook. And if you look at it today, self-publishing has come into its own and there's more people are self-publishing than ever. And you really can reach a lot of people online. But I felt like my mission was compelling me to ask, what's the next step? How do we reach more people? How can we help more people with their health and their fitness and achieving their ideal weight? And partnering up with a traditional publisher in New York, that was the obvious next step. So when I got an offer from Random House, which is the biggest English language publisher in the world, not just in New York for the USA, but also in Toronto for Canada and in London for the UK and exporting to other countries, I knew that that was the next step. So now we can reach so many more people through different channels, not just the internet. This book will be on bookstore shelves all over the USA and Canada, in the UK, Australia, even South Africa, and hopefully it'll grow from there. And, and now my goal, my mission is to help millions of people. That's great. All right, cool. Well, let's talk about the new version and what's been updated. Uh, this has been one of the biggest questions we've received for months now. So what's the difference between the original ebook and the new hardcover version? Well, on one hand, it's the same book. This is still Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, and it's very true to the original. But it's also a completely revised, updated, and reorganized version of the same book at least 25% of the material is brand new. There's three new chapters. I wrote a new preface which tells my whole story and the background origins of the book. There's a new chapter on weight training. There's an amazing new chapter on breaking plateaus. And I did that chapter because that was one of the most frequently asked questions we got over the last 10 years is I just got stuck and how do I get past this progress plateau? That chapter, the new chapter 18 shows you how. Great. Wow, that sounds phenomenal, man. Can you give us a small sample or a preview of what's in the uh, the plateau breaking chapter? Sure. Well, the newest part is the three stages of plateaus. There's early stage plateaus that happen in the first month or two. Then there's mid stage plateaus, which happen after a few months. And late stage plateaus is when you've been dieting for a long time and then you get really stuck. And the thing is, all three of these plateaus have different strategies to break through them. In fact, some of the things that you do for the late stage plateau are the exact opposite of what you do if you hit a plateau in the first few weeks. That's great. Cool. Well, all right. Can you tell us about the new training program um, and answer a couple other questions we've been getting for months? Can you do this workout at home and will it work for a total beginner? Sure. Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle has four components, which we'll probably talk uh, more about later. There's nutrition, there's cardio training, there's resistance or weight training, and there's mental training. So there's two types of training. There's cardio, which you can do at home or outdoors or in a gym. You can do it anywhere. And the weight training can be done in a gym or at home. The only requirement is that you do resistance training because this program is about getting stronger and maintaining or building lean muscle. And that's done with resistance training. So if you're starting out at home, all you need is your own body weight. You can do exercises like pull-ups, dips, chin-ups, abdominal exercises. They're all body weight and dumbbells. I highly recommend that you get dumbbells. That's the only thing you need to get started and you can start right in your own home. There is a beginner's program and there's a program that's more advanced. The beginner's program has you working out three days a week. It's very simple. Anybody can do it. There's instructions on how to do the exercises in the book and we've put the pictures up on the new website. The really exciting part of the training program is the all new TNB program. That stands for the new body. It's a 28 day program though it doesn't end after 28 days. It's designed as a template so you can keep repeating and do multiple months. You just plug in different exercises. That has you train your upper body one day and your lower body and your abs the next day. And the reason it's such a great program is that it'll work for anybody. It's not just a bodybuilding program like say uh, a body part split routine that I might do if I was gonna get ready for a competition. Great, man, that's awesome. All right, so what else is in the new book? There's more than just new chapters and a new training program, right? Yeah, right. The whole book has been updated cover to cover. And, and that's because a lot can change in 10 years. For example, if new research comes out about nutrition or something new comes up in the exercise science journals, I read all the research and I update the book with the latest science. Uh, but the great part about this book is that it's not 
too sciencey. It's not overly technical. My goal was that it's evidence based and there's science underneath it, but it's written for the average person. So any technical jargon or any unnecessary science, I've left that out. And what I give you is just simple strategies that's it makes it easy to read and easy to follow, but you know it's backed by science. And that's important because there's so many fad diets out today that have absolutely no science behind them. Speaking of being simple and easy to read, um, I had the privilege to work with a, a great editor at Random House, and her help was just instrumental in, in reorganizing the book so it flows smoothly. And it's so easy to read and find anything you're looking for. Uh, the book is split into four sections, and that corresponds with each of those elements I mentioned. So there's a nutrition section, there's a resistance training section, there's a cardio training section, and there's a mental training section. If you want to jump straight to the program, like if you want to see, okay, just tell me what to eat, show me the program, the early chapters tell you right where to go. So it's kind of like a quick start. Or if you want to get right to the workout program, those early chapters just point you right to the workout, and you can literally get started the same day. Then if you want to, you can go back and get all those details later. Another thing that we added was these quick start boxes. We dropped them in almost every chapter and you can read one little blurb and it summarizes the entire chapter into one action step. And if you just do that one thing, you're 80 or 90% of the way there. It's like using the 80-20 rule, finding the vital few things that make the big difference and that makes it easy to get started really quick. And it's a big book. If you go check it out in a bookstore, you'll see it's, uh, it's a hardcover. It's 360 pages, and it was always intended to be that way. It's always been a big book because it's really a reference guide. It's like an encyclopedia on fat loss and fitness. And in the original version, people would say, wow, that's a ton of information, and that's great, but sometimes they felt overwhelmed. And now it just flows so well. It's so organized and divided up so well that people who got copies of the book already, they say it's easy to read, and they didn't even want to put it down. Oh, very cool. Well, that kind of ties right into our next question, Tom. Who is this book for? It's really for everybody, Kyle. I think that everybody needs a complete book on health and fitness in their library. And there is no other book that covers health and fitness so completely. You get it all. Nutrition, weight training, cardio training, mental training. It's all in this book. It's not your typical diet book. It's not even your typical fitness book. It's everything. If you only need help in one or two areas and you've got the others covered, there's something in here for everyone. The reason I think so many people keep asking this question, who is this book for, I'm hearing it a lot, is because my background is bodybuilding. As everybody who's followed me knows, I was a competitive bodybuilder for almost 15 years. I did 28 competitions before I retired from the onstage part of the sport. And this whole book is really based on what I learned from all my years as a bodybuilder. And the book is about the secrets of the leanest people in the world. That's the subtitle of the book. And those are bodybuilders and fitness models. If you think about it, if you want to get more muscular and if you want to get leaner, why not learn from the most muscular and the leanest people in the world? But it's not about getting ripped or becoming a bodybuilder, unless you want to. It's about how regular people can use some of those fitness model and bodybuilder secrets to achieve their own goals, whatever those goals are. And this book, since it's already been out there for so long, it's already helped well over a quarter million people in 154 countries. So we've got the proof that it does work for regular people. Anybody who's gone through our success stories galleries on one of our websites can see the, the range of people. Last year, for the first time, we had more women in our community than men. It was over 50% women. We've had people from teenagers to over age 70. And the, I think the surprising part is we did some surveys this year on our demographics, and our biggest age demographic is in the 40 to 55 age group. So it doesn't matter what your goals are, whatever your age is, if you're a guy or a girl, wherever in the world you're from, this book is for you. It'll work for you. Okay, great. So, Tom, you mentioned how Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle is based on bodybuilder and fitness model nutrition and training techniques. But there's a question we've both heard for years, and it may be a myth, and it may be a stereotype, but a lot of people still believe it just the same. So I hope you can bring some light onto this. What, what, what do you say when someone says, isn't bodybuilding unhealthy? Yeah, I've heard that myself a lot recently, and I understand why people would think this. But the truth is, bodybuilding is a lifestyle, and it's the healthiest lifestyle in the world. 
if you do it the natural way. And by natural, I mean drug-free, steroid-free, hormone-free. And I think it's also important to point out that bodybuilding is far more than a competition. It is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle where you're combining good nutrition with training for muscle and strength. So I always felt like anybody who was eating nutritious food and they're in the gym working out or at home, they're working out, they're training the muscle, they could call themselves a bodybuilder. And you know, if it doesn't resonate with you because some people don't identify themselves as a bodybuilder, you could do something different. You could say, you know, I'm body sculpting. And that makes some people feel more comfortable. But we're talking about the same thing. We're talking about nutrition and training together. It's not a secret that a lot of bodybuilders take steroids and steroid abuse can be unhealthy. I mean, uh, other drugs like diuretics that are used for competition, they're actually more dangerous than the steroids. And I think that's the reason that so many people have this generalization that, oh, all bodybuilders use steroids or they create a stereotype like all bodybuilders are unhealthy. But that's kind of like saying, well, all baseball players are unhealthy, isn't it? You know, I mean, the truth is steroids are in almost every sport. It's just that bodybuilders display it in a conspicuous way. So bodybuilding is not inherently unhealthy. Some people just make a poor choice and they do it in an unhealthy way. And it's true of everything in life. I mean, anything can be taken to, a, to an extreme, any sport, any activity. And that's the great thing about Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. There's no extremes in this program. Uh, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle is the sensible middle. It's sensible, it's flexible, and it's 100% natural. You know, I always competed naturally, and I always urged my readers to stay away from drugs, and I've always encouraged everyone that you can build a great body naturally with training and nutrition, and I still do, and, and it's part of this book. And the nutrition, it's, it's incredibly healthy. Look at bodybuilders. For, they're well known for eating super healthy foods and that nutrition is so important for the results they get. It's not just in the gym, it's in the kitchen too. And the bodybuilding nutrition style, the fitness model, physique athlete nutrition style, it's actually more flexible than any others. Sometimes you reduce the carbs, but you don't have to, that's optional. And every food group is represented. You got vegetables, you got fruits, the natural starches, the whole grains. I mean, look at how the poor whole grains have been beat up so much in all the other diet programs. You know, nothing is banished from, from this program. It's so balanced. The lean proteins, you have fish, poultry, eggs. If you want to, you can include dairy products. Some people can't eat dairy products because they have lactose intolerance, so it is a health issue for them. But if, if not, you can include dairy products. I mean, this, this really isn't a diet at all. I don't even like the word diet. I'd rather call it a nutrition program because it's all about nutrients and it's about nourishing your body. It's about feeding your muscle and not starving it. And that's the best part about this program. It is healthy, it is balanced, and it is a lifestyle. I mean, I'm proof of that because I haven't competed in eight years, but I'm still eating almost the exact same way as when I was competing. And when I did compete, I didn't go on an unhealthy crash diet. All I did was I increased the focus and the intensity of my training and I had to reduce my calories, so I had the energy deficit. I needed to burn fat. We all have to do that if we wanna burn fat. And if you really think about it, a lot of the most popular fad diets in the weight loss market today, those are really the unhealthy ones. I mean, look at all the diets that just banish and eliminate and demonize entire food groups, or they starve you with 800 or 600 calories a day, or they restrict you to nothing but lemon water or vegetable juice. That kind of dieting is unhealthy. Burn the fat, feed the muscle, the bodybuilder nutrition style program, it's not even about dieting your body down. It's really about building your body up. Great answer. Great answer. All right, Tom. So there's a ton of diet and weight loss books out there and more and more coming out every single day. So what's different about Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle than the other books and programs that are out there? Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle is so different than the typical diet book and weight loss book that the entire first chapter of the book is devoted to answering that question. And you can actually read that whole chapter and you can read the brand new preface for free. We have a free ebook preview. I'm gonna post a link to that free preview when we post this podcast and it'll also be posted up on the new website. If you haven't had a chance to see that yet, definitely download it, it's a PDF and you can read the whole chapter which in, it gives the whole history, it gives the an introduction and a list of 10 reasons why the entire program is different from anything else out there. But 
right now, let me give you two big things. Most diets, they only give you the what. They say, okay, just do this. They'll give you a list of foods or the whole book is just filled with uh, meal plans and recipes and that's it. And that's fine. Some people just want to be told what to do, but they don't teach you the why. At Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle gives you the what, here's what to do, and it gives you the why. Do this and here's why you're doing it. And I think that empowers people. It's, it's an education. It empowers people with knowledge. A diet program just doesn't give you any education. So when the diet is over, you haven't learned anything. You burn, uh, burn the fat, feed the muscle, I've been told, is like getting a degree in, in health and fitness and nutrition. You read this book and you'll know more about health and fitness and nutrition than 90% of the people in the world. You probably know more about nutrition than some doctors when you finish reading this book. So that's one big one. You get the what, you get the why. Uh, a second big one, and this is a big one, is, is most weight loss programs, they tell you to, to diet and that's it. That's their solution for weight loss is just diet. They're only focusing on one thing, but there's three other elements you need if you want a total body transformation, if you wanna get not just to lose weight, but if you wanna transform your body, if you wanna get fitter, if you wanna get stronger and you wanna get healthier, you need all the elements, not just diet. And again, I don't even like the word diet. I'd rather call the, the first element a nutrition program. Great. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's let's talk more about the, the four elements inside the Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle program. Sure. Well, the, okay, here's the philosophy. If you want a total body transformation, not just weight loss, but you want to, all, you want to get leaner, by leaner I mean improve your body composition because – Losing weight is not the same as losing fat. If you lose weight, you can be fooled with some diets when you lose water. If you lose weight, what if it's muscle? That's not good. So if you don't just want weight loss, if you want to get leaner, improve your body composition, get stronger, if you want to get fitter and you want to get healthier, you need a complete program that covers all the bases because a diet can't do all those things. A diet cannot make you stronger. A diet cannot make you fitter. And a diet may or may not make you healthier. If you think about how extreme some of these diets are, they're very unhealthy. So that's why I break this program down into four elements. Okay, nutrition, resistance training, cardio training, and mental training. Nutrition, that's how you get leaner and how you get healthier. Resistance training, that's how you get stronger and more muscular. The cardio training, that's how you get fitter and that's how you get leaner even faster. Whatever fat loss you're getting with nutrition alone, and you can, you can lose fat with just nutrition alone, with diet alone, but whatever you're getting from that, you can accelerate it when you add cardio. And then mental training, that's how you use psychology and use your mind to help you stick with your eating and training program. And that's important because this is probably the biggest problem that everyone has. It's one thing to have a program. It's one thing for someone to give you the what, do this. What if you can't make yourself follow it? That's where the mental training comes in. Good stuff, and that's critically important. All right, Tom, so just a couple more questions, and then you can tell everyone about any special promotions and where they can get the book. This question, you and I have both been for you know hearing for months, um, so I think we should broadcast the answer for everyone. For someone who already owns the, you know, or bought the original version of the Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle program or the ebook, um, whether recently or years ago, is it worth getting the new edition of the book? Well, I think we answered that pretty well earlier when we reviewed everything that's in the new book. And the answer is absolutely yes. I mean, you, you are going to be totally thrilled with everything that's new in the book. The new chapters, the new information on breaking plateaus and accelerating fat loss, all the latest updates to the science and the best practice recommendations are completely up to date. And they're, they're not going to go bad because the whole program is based on principles. So you have the quick start tips, uh, the new workout programs. Uh, I don't even think I mentioned the, uh, the nutrition program, how much the nutrition program and the meal planning chapter was updated. You get meal plan templates, lots of sample meals and lists, extensive lists of suggested foods. So what that does with that combination, it lets you create your own meals. It's kind of like plug and play. You take the template and you plug in the foods that you want, pick foods from the food list and just drop it into the template. And even though I do give sample meals, 
it's just a suggestion. That's not a prescription for you. What I really am trying to do is teach you how to make your own meals and do it so it's customized. There's no generic meal plans. If you pick up a typical diet book and it gives you, say, you have 28 days of meal plans, nine out of 10 people are not gonna like something on those meal plans. So it's a lot better if you learn how to put together your own meal plans. But you do get samples to get you started. And then, you know, obviously, let's not forget, this is a beautiful hardcover book. It looks great on your shelf. You can hold it in your hands. And, you know, another reason that we're doing this is, that, is the demand. People have been asking for a hardcover for years and years, and now you've got it. And, uh, and there's also an audio version, too, now, if you want to listen. All right, so the audio version. Yeah, so just, just to make sure, you read the whole thing this time, right? Yes, yeah. Read by the author, that's me, and the whole thing. It's unabridged. I think it's just short of 12 hours. Like I said, it's the Bible of fat loss. It's a, it's a big book, so you get your money's worth on the not only in the book but in the audio. It's available wherever audiobooks are sold. I've already seen it listed on Amazon, both the CD and the Audible or audible.com, anywhere audiobooks are sold. So you can have physical CDs or you can download uh, the MP3s, put it in your MP3 player, listen in your car. Uh, hopefully you're gonna be doing some cardio so you can listen while you're doing cardio while you're out walking <laughs> so uh, yep it's me and it's uh, the full entire ebook okay great um, how about the new ebook versions or digital versions there's no more PDF ebook is that correct um, but the book is now on every type of web 2.0 ebook platform like Kindle and so on right 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 that's right there's no more PDF ebook that's how I self-published the book for all these years that's how fitness ebooks were done since the early 2000s and they and they still are with a, with an Adobe Acrobat PDF there's no more PDF for this ebook but if you do want a digital version of the book it's on Kindle which is Amazon's ebook reader Nook is Barnes and Nobles Kobo the iBook store if you got an iPad uh, or an Apple device you get the iBook store Google Play I've seen it on so uh, you can it's available on, on just about every ebook format out there now Okay, great. So what about, you know, where can people get the book? Um, to just making this absolutely clear, where can people get the books in brick and mortar stores? And, you know, I know you just mentioned all the online stores, but let's let's mention those again just right, to make sure. Right. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, both online and the physical stores. Anywhere else books are sold. I mean, I think it's kind of sad to see so many physical bookstores going away, but that's we're in the digital age because people want the ebooks and physical books. Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle is available in both, but if you want to go out and support your local bookstore, please do. Uh, in Canada, we're all across Canada. Indigo Chapters is the big chain up there. Uh, Amazon .can, Amazon.ca is the, the Canadian, and they'll ship right from Canada. And we're in the UK, Amazon.co.uk. You can look us up there. Um, there, it's the exact same book, but they publish it in a nice paperback. So it's a physical book, but it's a paperback. Plus, you can get their their ebook versions. I've got confirmation that we're on Australian internet bookstore websites. I will have names of them that I can post on the blog, um, along with the, the show notes here and on the new the new Burn the Fat website. And I also found out it's it's going to be in South Africa, and that's just for starters. We'll see how it gets distributed from here. Very good. Last but not least, Tom. You have some kind of special book launch week uh, offer and a new website for, exclusively for the book. So can you tell the listeners more about that, please? Yes. Okay. The official book launch date is Tuesday, December 10th, 2013. On that day, by then, it should be in all the physical bookstores. You will be able to order from Amazon.com. You can already pre-order. You could go on if you're listening to this before the publication date you can pre-order and then it's going to ship for you on the 10th and we do have a new website uh, I have a lot of burn the fat websites now you know there's the burn the fat blog where this podcast is first being hosted uh, the burn the fat inner circle and and the burn the fat challenge .com. we have lots of websites there's a new website that I've just devoted to this hardcover new edition of burn the fat feed the muscle and it's the book title burn the fat feed the muscle .com. and on book release day on December 10th for the six days period after that from the 10th to the 16th we are gonna have a special offer let me just say that we're gonna be giving away some bonuses where if you just go and buy one copy of the book then come back to the website burn the fat feed the muscle .com, email us the receipt you're gonna get a phenomenal bonus package and I can tell you 
One of the bonuses is so incredible. Uh, my jaw almost hit the floor when I found out that we were going to get it because, well, let's just say it's a program that absolutely transformed my life 10 years ago, and I think it's the best program of its kind that complements Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle in an amazing way, and the value is $147. And I bought it for $147 years ago, and you buy the book. I don't know what all the other retailers are charging, but Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle has a cover price of the hardcover for $27. Amazon, uh, I don't know how they make any money. Maybe they don't, <laughs> but uh, $16 and change. So it's like you buy a $16 hardcover from Amazon, send us the receipt, you're gonna get a bonus package, and one of them is worth, one of them alone is worth $147, and it's something that, that really changed my life. And uh, so you don't wanna miss this. Definitely go to burnthefatfeedthemuscle.com between December 10th and December 16th. Uh, check out the offer, order your book. All right, so folks, that's the burnthefatfeedthemuscle.com, and that's the all new Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle book. It's in stores now, everywhere. So run out, get a copy on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Chapters, wherever. Uh, books are sold online or run out and support your local physical bookstore and grab that hardcover. Thank you so much for everyone for listening and thank you, Tom. I'm really looking forward to seeing these lives change, hopefully millions of lives because it's an amazing mission you have and this is an amazing book and I'm honored to be part of it. Thanks a lot, Kyle. Thanks, everyone.